Today on the YouTube channel, we are talking about my three favorite places to storm chase. Now, a couple of things before we get into my list is I've had to have chased there. That seems to be like an obvious like factor. Also, good storms, good tornadoes, maybe good road networks, but maybe not. Those are all factors that fact that work went into this list. So without further ado, let's jump right into my list. My three favorite places to storm chase. Now, number three on my list is the Texas Panhandle and perhaps a little bit of Eastern New Mexico. I love this area. I've seen so many good picturesque storms over this area. The landscape is really unique. It's like deserty, but not in places, which I love. You can see a supercell over like the desert. That's amazing. Also, tornadoes, plenty of them here. Seems like the Caprock, Caprock magic. I've seen some really incredible tornado events in the Texas Panhandle over the years. Nighttime, daytime, I've seen them. It's amazing in terms of a place to chase. I will say the roads can be a little dicey, especially north of Amarillo. <sighs> but the storms are typically amazing. Now, number two on my list of favorite places to storm chase Let's go to Northeast New Mexico into Eastern Colorado, especially that area like around the border, around the Raton Mesa. Amazing place to storm chase. You get storms forming over the Rocky Mountains and they move off on the plains and you get this like amazing juxtaposition of a storm with mountains underneath it in the background. And the storms here are amazingly gorgeous, like over and over again, amazingly gorgeous. The landscape is like barren, so it's just like, you and the storm you can see forever and tornadoes do happen here and when they do they are like so photogenic like amazingly photogenic so this is an area that if you have not thought about storm chasing do it don't be frustrated with the roads they they can be rough but you definitely want to storm chase this area northeast new mexico southeast colorado highly recommend now my number one place to storm chase is a little bit of home cooking admittedly but i love 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 northern oklahoma and southern kansas the area along the border which includes places like wichita pratt enid blackwell ponca city these are areas that are like they see so many big tornado events i've seen so many in this area over the course of my chase career and the terrain is amazing to chase in. The road network is incredible. There are so many things, so many things to frame with your storms. This is like the promised land. This is like, if you're gonna chase anywhere, like if, you could, if I could only chase like one place the rest of my life, it would be this region. It is an incredible place to storm chase. And then is that at the top of my list of favorite places to storm chase. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you have made it this far, you should subscribe. You should enable notifications. Also, you should get ready to comment because what are your favorite places to storm chase? If you are a storm chaser, wh where do you like going? Wh what did I miss? Why am I wrong about the three areas I picked? You let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. We might feature your responses in a future video. And also, also, thanks. We'll see you next time. Had nothing. Like, wh wh where do I love this storm chase? Like, everywhere. I don't know. It's a good question. Maybe if I make like this off the beaten path chart, like list, like maybe people will like, you know, like Idaho. Who storm chases in Idaho? There's storms in Idaho. There's oftentimes supercells. Maybe I should say Idaho. I don't know.